Ahoy, mateys! Welcome back to Eyewitness News at 6 a.m. Astronauts are back on the ground. It left them on a science mission for nearly six months. Less than two weeks away from the Pennsylvania primaries and Philadelphia is looking for poll workers. Anyone interested has to attend training and available to be boarded. May 17th is the official deadline. So, for those who do work, they will be paid and be paid for election day itself. The poll workers must be registered to vote no matter what county they may be in. For the latest on the primary, just go to cbsphilly.com and CBS News Philly instead of us not being on CBS 3 Philadelphia. Now to the latest on the stocks. Investors hoping that today's jobs report will help Wall Street after yesterday's deep plunge. The Dow Jones went down with 1,063. The Nasdaq rose down with 647. And the S&P 500 made a beeline by going down with 153. Inflation in the United States has definitely gotten up. Groceries go up 8.8. Electricity, 13 and a half, and 48% is on gas. You can't make this stuff up. No, you cannot. Mother's Day is this Sunday. This morning, we have a heartwarming story about mother educators in Philadelphia. Let's get the latest now on Lakeisha Bailey, my auntie. Go ahead, Aunt Lakeisha. Elementary school in Mount Erie. Dear Mr. Jones, I didn't have time to make a picture, but you are supportive to everyone. That's just one more card that will adorn her fourth grade classroom. As a Philadelphia school district teacher for almost 30 years, she, like many teachers, care about the students beyond the school walls. I always tell them they're the best part of my day. We're trying to produce great citizens, too. That's important because, you know, they're going to be the ones that lead our, our world later on. Like her daughter, Amanda Jones. Hey, everyone say hi to Miss Jones. Hi. I'm not talking about how great you guys are. All the time. All the time. Instead of a morning call, Amanda sat by her mother's classroom for some quality time. And we joined the two. Their closeness goes beyond their magic wardrobe, but they both share a love for education. Good morning. Not Mrs., but Miss Jones is a second year principal at the Honorable Luis Munoz Marin Elementary School. But she's been in the district almost a decade. Good morning. How are you? Good. You can say she's following in her mother's footsteps. My mom is my everything. She's influenced for all of me, right? So personally, educational, um, when stuff happens at work or my personal life, she's the first person I call. Soon her mother will have a lot more free time. 2023 is my last year. Yes. In this in this role, it's my last year. I'm going to miss my kids. I think about them. It kind of makes me sad. Um, I don't want to miss my colleagues. But she'll continue to enjoy the day-to-day -day school stories from her daughter. She's the best part of me. I'm so proud of her. It, you know, it makes my heart, my heart is full. I'm so proud of her. Lakeisha Bailey, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Arg, that makes me jolly as a Roger right there. Thank you for that live update, Auntie Lakeisha. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms. And... I hope you get something very, very special. Speaking of Mother's Day, the Susan G. Coleman More Than Pink Walk is this coming Sunday, May 8th at 9.30 a.m. from the Parks Casino in Ben Salem, Bucks County, Pennsylvania. To register for the walk, just go to cbsphilly.com slash more than pink. So Mother's Day weekend is about to get officially almost underway. So here is another check on the extended Eyewitness News forecast with meteorologist Larissa Abreu. Go ahead, my sister Larissa. Take it away for Pirate William. Now, but rain is on the way. It's cloudy out there. Temps are sitting in the 50s. So not too bad in terms of what's going on, 
but this is the most quiet part of the day because rain will be filling in and by mid-morning we're going to track rainfall across the region with pockets of heavier rain well to our south and west as we move the clock forward the afternoon the afternoon drive back home is looking like a complete washout this is 3 30 in the afternoon and this is widespread steady to heavy rainfall you can see that rain from the poconos down to the jersey shore extending into northern central parts of delaware as well and as far west as our western neighborhoods our far western communities this is going to be the case here as we approach the evening that rain begins to thin out only to fill right back in through the overnight and we'll be in and out of this rainfall coming down pretty heavily as we enter kick off the start of the weekend all right all right thank you so much there larissa we have the rest of the top stories and more headlines when we come back. But first, here's what you can do to find CBS News Philly anytime you watch the streaming service channel right through the CBS News app and the Pluto TV app. Please don't go away, everybody.